everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to Camp Create. In today's camp lesson, we are going to be focusing on watercolor. So I'm going to be using a stamp set called Freshly Picked Bouquet and I'm also gonna be using some of our dye inks. Now I am not a watercolor artist by any means, so I kind of wanted to show you how I fake it a little bit and make it look kind of artsy, even though this is not an area that I have expertise in. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and stamp out the image multiple times, one on top of another to get a really crisp black image. So I'm using my Misty Stamping Tool as well as Extreme Black Ink, which is a permanent ink that will work with watercolor. And I've stamped this about three or four times. And of course I had a section where my video camera was not recording, I didn't realize it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you what I've started to do here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the dye ink cubes and I'm just squishing them onto an acrylic block and I have a paintbrush here. Now I am using water, it's off to the side, but I'm not adding a ton of water to the paintbrush. I'm getting it just a little bit wet and then I'm dipping it into that color. And that will allow me to get a really nice dark blend of that dye ink. And then I'm going directly to my paper. This is watercolor paper and it's completely dry. So I don't have any water on it yet. And what I'm doing is adding that dark color first and then when you see me go off camera there, I'm just kind of cleaning out the brush and picking up a little bit more water than I did the first time. And I'm gonna go over the edges and just kind of let that bleed out a little bit. This will help to soften the dark edges where we stopped with the darker color. And what I'm doing is I'm not going all the way to the edge. You can see here I'm leaving a bit of a white area on the end of the petals. I think that that really gives it kind of an artsy look and it looks intentional, which it is because I am doing it on purpose, but I think that it's adding to the look of the design by kind of making it look a little bit more abstract than it would if I was doing complete watercolor and filling the entire petals. I really like the hard color line that we are creating rather than having the color kind of fade out. I'm letting it kind of abruptly stop before the white, which just makes it a little bit more obvious that that color is being added on there. So once I did a couple of petals on the fire coral and the pop and pink flower, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the yellow flower. I wanna let those petals dry completely on the two top flowers before I start working in any of the petals adjacent, just because I don't want to have extra water and have that kind of run. I really wanna control how much color is being added to the petals. So for the yellow one, I'm doing the exact same thing. I took some lemon drop ink and I added it to my acrylic block. And I'm just once again using my paintbrush Dipping it in the water, getting it a little bit wet, and then picking up some of that color and bringing that really dark color in at the center of the flower. Once I have the dark color laid down, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in just water and just kind of use the paintbrush to kind of pull that color out. And just keep in mind that the longer you let the dark areas that you apply first dry, the more you're going to get a harder edge and you're not gonna be able to blend out as much as I'm doing here where I'm kind of blending into the softer color. You do wanna make sure that you are doing that when it's still wet before it fully dries. So I'm gonna go back up to the top ones here now that I've completed the yellow ones and I'm going to repeat the exact same process. I'm going to add the darkest color in the center. I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush, pull out that color and just kind of stop it before I fully cover the entire petal. I just think it looks so cool and it looks like I actually know what I'm doing with these watercolors. So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same process to the leaves. I did start out with Limelight. It was a little bit too light, so I decided not to use that one. I switched it up and brought in Jalapeno Popper, and I like this one much more. It's got a really nice dark green color. I can get it to be super dark if I use it very concentrated, but by using that water to pull the color out, it really lightens it up, and I love the way this green looks with the pinks and the yellows that we've used on the design. So I just continued to do that. I didn't really add much more color. I used all the same colors. The only thing additional I added was a little bit of snow cone to the center of the daisies. And then I went ahead and cut it out with the coordinating die. I love the look of a whole cluster of flowers like this, adhered onto a card panel with some foam adhesive. So that's what we're going to do for today's card. I wanted to keep everything very light in color. I don't wanna have a lot of like dark areas because I really want the flowers to stand out and we went really soft with them by allowing a lot of that white to show through. So for my card base, I'm going to use Princess Pink, which is a very soft pink color. And then I also have a white panel that is cut slightly smaller than our, 
a two size card and I'm going to adhere that directly onto the card base. I'm going to put the foam adhesive on the back of the flowers. So I just went ahead and added that on there and then I'm going to adhere that directly to the white panel and that's going to be the dimension that we add to the card. And then rather than add foam adhesive to the white panel as well, I decided to keep that one completely flat to our card base. This panel is cut down to three and three quarter inches by five inches. So our cluster of flowers kind of goes off the edges. I am going to leave where the flower comes off at the top completely showing there, but I am going to trim the little stems at the bottom of the panel. And then once I have that done, I'm going to add my adhesive to the back of this and center it right onto our card base. I love the soft pink peeking through from the card base and the stark white directly behind the flowers. I just think it really helps them to pop off the card. Now the last thing we need to do here is add our sentiment. So I have a piece of cement gray cardstock. Like I mentioned, I want to keep everything really soft on this card. So I opted for a gray sentiment strip and I'm going to use the itty bitty basics stamp set once again and stamp out thanks so much directly onto our cardstock. I'm using Versamark once again and we are going to heat emboss this with white embossing powder. Now the white embossing powder isn't going to be as prominent on the gray cardstock as it is on black, but it just added to the overall softness of this look that I was going for and I really love the look of the white on the gray. So I went ahead and heat embossed that. I cut it out with the coordinating sentiment strip. It was a little bit too long still, so I did trim off the ends of that with my scissors and then I adhered it directly onto our cluster of flowers. Once I have the sentiment on there, I'm going to add a few sequins scattered around the card and that is going to complete our watercolor look. So this is a really easy way to use your dye inks. You can see really close in the picture now how we have that kind of hard lines where the color ended, but it just looks like it was completely intentional and that was the whole point of how we wanted this to look. I would love for you to give this technique a try or any type of watercolor. If you don't typically watercolor on your cards, I encourage you to give it a try and you don't need any special inks or anything. You can just use your dye inks like I did here. It worked perfectly. So go ahead and check out the video description for all of the details on how you can win this week at Camp Create and make sure to head to the blog to enter your card for today's camp activity. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for more camp fun.